हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द जकीफर्स कॉमर्स क्लासेस सो इन टुडे सेशन विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव ऑन अकाउंटिंग इक्वेशन ओके सो दिस इज द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑन अकाउंटिंग इक्वेशंस इन टोटल आई हैव सॉल्व्ड फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स इंक्लूडिंग दिस वन सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द सीरीज ऑन अकाउंटिंग इक्वेशंस my next video would be on some other topic okay so this is the last video for accounting equations so let's start with the problem the first transaction is started business with cash 60000 okay so this 60000 will be recorded on the asset side as well as the capital side okay second is rent received rupees 2000 so rent is received 2000 so that is an income to us so the asset side will be increased with rupees 2000 as rent at the same time the capital side will also be increased with rupees 2000 because we studied that the capital will be increased or decreased by profits or losses so when there is any loss it will be deducted it will if there is a profit it will be added next is accrued interest okay now accrued interest is an income to us okay the interest that we have received so it will be added to the asset side as well as it will be added to the capital side so we add rupees 500 on the asset side and rupees 500 on the capital side four transaction is commission received in advance rupees 1000 now this commission we have already received okay we are not going to receive it again so here this commission received in advance we have to add it to the cash okay add it to the asset side then what we have to do is this 1000 will be recorded on the liability side okay why because it is an advance commission or an advance income that we have received so this commission received in advance will have no impact on the capital why because we are not receiving it now we have already received it so whenever you have commission received in advance anything it is received in advance we have to add it on the asset side and on the liability side as well okay as you can see that i have written 1000 and advance commission okay and the last is amount withdrawn rupees 5000 so this is drawings we know that drawings is deducted from asset as well as capital so we will deduct rupees 5000 and from the asset side and from the capital side we will deduct 5000 so on the asset side uh, we deduct 63000 minus 5000 we get 58000 as cash plus 500 and on the capital side we have 62500 and 5000 will be deducted so we get it as 57500 okay So at the end, if you see, then the asset total is fifty eight five hundred, and the liabilities plus capital is one thousand plus fifty seven five hundred. So when you add fifty seven five hundred plus one thousand, you will get fifty eight thousand five hundred on both the sides. We can see fifty thousand five hundred year and fifty eight thousand five hundred year. So with this, the problem is over. So students, during your exams, you have to get the same answers on both the sides. Okay. If there are any differences with among the answers, like the asset side is more or the liability side is more. then your answer is wrong so you have to reevaluate your answer okay so this was it for today's session so as i mentioned earlier that this is the last video on accounting equations from my side i have tried my level best to include different kinds of transactions which are important from your exam point of view okay if there are queries or any questions or maybe any problems that you all want me to solve then please put it down in the comment section because until and unless i do not know what are the difficulties being faced by you all i will not be in a position to solve them okay therefore i request you to please put it down in the comment section also if there are any queries or any feedbacks or suggestions then put them also in the comment section and if you liked my video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you